Uganda, if you're not a doctor, a lawyer, or an engineer, you failed in life. That is what like everyone says. But I don't think that's true. I think you can be successful even following your passion, your gift. Like many people graduate, they take courses like becoming a lab assistant or a doctor or an engineer. I mean, you find a guy with a PhD mopping a floor. And yet inside that guy, there's this am amazing gift they could have used, but then a system like crushed them, stuffed it inside them. Like they could have been much more than that. I was in P4. And there was this kid who always, that kid who is always drawing something in class in the middle of a lesson. So whenever I would ask him, he would say he was apparently busy and he wouldn't want to help me draw anything. Like, I would say he was selfish, but then again, many people would ask him. So one day I decided to try drawing my own. I like put my heart into it, like I said, okay, fine, he's not gonna help me. I did it myself. I turned out amazing. So that's when I started the whole drawing thing. Honestly, I, uh, I'm an introvert. I'm mostly quiet. And people think I'm, um, you know, off edge and a little paranoid about everything. So, like it's like I'm talking to someone, like I don't have to talk to everyone, like I can put something on a canvas, like every brush stroke it's like letting something go, like relaxing. When I was in P4, I thought someone was my friend. But she, she turned on me and um, I know what to talk to. <laughs> like people thought I was just being all emotional. And like when I would draw it, would be like, okay, it's my pain. Like someone actually gets me, you know? Like it helped me a lot. My painting would be like, there would be me like that friend who would never leave you. Like, when you hurt someone, it's like throwing a stone into the ocean, like you don't know how deep it will go. Like, I thought I could trust her, but she hurt me. And I guess my paintings are like my paint. I like using acrylic paint, because if you make a mistake, you can just wipe it off like it never happened. Like it's like a second chance of some sort. I like things that like out of the normal, like something different. Like I don't want to paint something that like basic. I just like the abstract painting I made, the, the sky never matched the water. Like something you'll see in a dream, the glass bridge, that glacier thing like something you wouldn't see, or you probably think wouldn't exist. From the beginning, whenever I would go to school, it was only my teacher guiding me, telling me to put the paint here. He taught me about the toning, and mostly he told me to be free. He told me to stop being so stiff with a brush and caring. He told me, since it was acrylic paint, I could relax, he could paint, just paint over it. If I made a mistake, I could just paint over it. And I'll keep trying and trying and trying till I finally got it right. My mom, she likes supporting me. Like, to her, she doesn't matter the cost. Like, she has this way of making me feel like I'm special. I think that Abigail is a very talented child. She, she has a very strong will and she, she puts her heart into something. If she's determined to do something, she will not rest until she gets it done. 
and I think her art is spectacular. It's, it blows me away when, when I look at it. Sometimes I, I don't believe that she's the one who has done it. And then as a grown-up person myself, I have seen people struggling with their careers. You know, someone doing something because their parents wanted them to do so. Then they're not happy or they fail. And then the, the, the talents that they despised are actually flourishing. You know, so I thought I would do something different and just support her. And then we see where it goes. I would like to own my own art studio, like to have like a museum of my own where food of my paintings and my paintings like alone. Like I don't have to be there, but my paintings like speak for me. Like when people see it, they see me, but I'm not there.